Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Liquid Hot Shot. Hope everyone's doing okay. Today's currently Tuesday, the sun's out, guns out, you know, if that's that your type of thing. Quickly, before we get into today's episode, I stream live over on Twitch, uh, Monday through Friday, 11.30am to about 2.30pm, that's British time. Uh, and I have a Twitter as well where I post updates when new videos are live, as well as... Um, when Twitch streams are live, I post that on there as well. Uh, and I keep you up to date with any problems I'm having or, you know, anything like that. But without any further ado, we are playing some more FIFA 20 Road to Glory here with Morecambe. Uh, we've had a good couple last episodes, but last episode wasn't too great, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, we could have come away with a victory in that one, uh, but unfortunately it didn't go too well for us. Uh, but in today's episode, we're going to be playing Bury um, in the Leasing.com trophy. But in fairness, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sim this match because it's round one. Yes, it's a bit of dosh, which will help us out. Um, but as you can see, it's transfer deadline day. Um, and we're just going to sim through this. And as I do that, I think the only reason I'm going to sim the Bury game um is because of the fact that it's not a league game um so i'm not really interested in playing it uh of you know unless it's the carabao cup or the fa cup and seems though we're only in the carabao and we're being already knocked out of that uh i don't want to play the leasing.com i know i'll get some money um and it won't be <clears throat> as good as the Carabao or even uh, the FA Cup. Uh, right, okay, so Bayern Munich don't want to buy Cooper. They're not willing to spend 14 million. So Cooper stays. It's very good. Um, what else? Aaron Wildig. This is not going to be a transfer. Uh, I'm kind of glad that broke down with Callum Cooper because I didn't want him to go. That's why I set the transfer offer so high. Um, <clears throat> more than double his actual value. Uh, that's with form as well. Um, but yeah, we need to get league games through and through. Obviously, FIFA 21's around the corner. Um, and everyone keeps wanting to buy Stockton. Oh, is Stockton the person that we put on, a, on the transfer list? Because I'm just casually... I think he is, you know, and I keep rejecting it. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, received offers. Uh, I'll accept from St. Johnstone's because he's not. He's still in the UK, but he's not in any of the leagues around us. And that's the end of the first transfer window. So what? We've got six emails. Jesus Christ. So, move down, um, that they broke down over oh, just shy of £700 million pounds spent. And we've got some scout updates to have a look at. Uh, some high potential guys here. He's worth 70 He's worth 60 He's worth 60 So, we'll sign this Callum Hall guy. And we'll let those guys be scouted a little bit further. Uh, what else have we got? So that's a keep uh, striker. Sorry, not worth it though. Uh, not much potential on these guys. What's your? Should always have try and have a look at the value. Um, because it's not always the potential. Like if they've got a high value already. And with like an 80 potential. Um, then you know. It might be worth copying them. Because they're already half decent. Uh, I've got some goalkeepers here. Daniel DeWilt. Potential of 94. We'll give you a sign. And we'll ask all those to be scouted a little bit further. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, we're going to sim this match against Bury, and then we're going to play um, a league game, actually. Let's have a look. 3-1 to us with um, Hill 
Ewan Hill uh, scoring very early on with Leach Smith firing one as well as Stockton coming onto the pitch and uh, bagging himself one as well. But in today's match, we're going to be playing Bristol Rovers in the league. Um, okay, let's have a look at the Youth Academy. Uh, yeah, these guys are quite decent. I'm actually going to release this guy. Uh, even though I know we've trained him and I know you guys are kind of like, oh my gosh, you've trained him and you've just released him. But Daniel DeWitt, he's only 40k less overall value. Um, but his potential is like 20 higher. So I'm, I would rather put the time back in again and then, you know, do stuff. But without any further ado, hopefully... We're jumping into a game away from home against Bristol Rovers. We had a um, good stream today over on Twitch. We saw, what day is it today? Today's Tuesday. So on Monday, so as of yesterday, we uh, was building infrastructure uh, around a new village that we'd built towards, um, like built a road towards like actually in the direction not we were working towards building a village um and then we put up some farms yesterday as well as the cobblestone wall and then we at the end of the stream we started a village breeder right uh and then today we were breeding villagers and we got a librarian who started selling his mending books straight away so that was lovely absolutely lovely so i've got three mended books and um i've expanded the farms and stuff um to feed them so they can continually breed uh we've got fletchers and stuff so that's pretty cool uh i'm looking forward to that and getting some weapon smiths uh, and tool smiths um to master so that i can get some enchanted armor and stuff um for emeralds instead of going mining and obviously when we have mending um, you know, tools will be repaired with XP, so, you know, I can trade and fix tools, basically. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, but anyway, we're playing Bl Bristol Rovers, and they're coming forward straight away. And um, Halstead makes a lovely save there. Going to try and whip it in there with a header. It was on target, but Halstead manages to uh, get the ball there. Uh, Howard finds Wildig, who I'm going to play out wide to Cranston. Uh, get it to Leach Smith, who finds Howard, and he's got some room here. Knock it long. Get it to Leach Smith. <laughs> and Leach Smith has knocked one in. That's absolutely lovely. Opening up. And Leach Smith has already bagged one, so that's unbelievable, some may say. I do apologise about the little cut in footage. I was just speaking to my mum, I do apologise. But AJ Leach Smith, opening goal here, um, very early on. Um, and that's Markham 1, Bristol Rovers nil. Uh, yeah, so I've been enjoying Minecraft. Um, it's been fun on hardcore it's definitely a different sort of grind obviously on, on regular survival you kind of sit back and relax but I mean you're always on edge and I mean today I was just building the farm and um, like a spider came out of nowhere and I was just jamming to my tunes whilst doing the farm and the, the spider scared the absolute living bejeebas out of me I know that hills grabbed one let's go you and Hill need some new boots, but <laughs> he's grabbed him. He's grabbed his own, uh, and that's put us two in front. That's um, <laughs> that's something else. I guess, I guess you could say. I mean, their keeper got to it, but it, it wasn't wasn't good enough. I assume. Uh, but yeah, that's Ewan Hill, and I don't know how many he's had this season, but he's had a fair few to say. You know, he's. But in fairness, he's a higher rating than Leach Smith. Uh, I don't know if his shooting's as good, but hey ho. So yeah, it's um, like I was saying, it's a different sort of grind playing Minecraft, um, especially on hardcore mode, because you know 
within a glimpse of an eye, you can lose a world with that you've made a ton of progress on, and and uh, it can really, you know, if if you don't say to yourself, right, well, it's, you know, I can just reload up a new world and, and go again, you know, and you're okay with it, then it might take you a while to get rid of it. And you and Hills sky that one. Now that's where his shooting should come into play, but obviously if he doesn't have as good shooting. He will sky those chances, unfortunately. Uh, but I think we've, we've reached a milestone of we've actually spent more than a day's worth of game time on the t uh, on the stream world now, so that's lovely. Uh, and you know, here's to a here's to another day, uh, so to speak. But we do we do like three hours per stream, and obviously we do five streams a week, so we do around fifteen hours. Um, a, uh, a working week on it, so do you know uh, 15 hours of the world worth of progress? You know, maybe a bit more if the stream's longer, or maybe a bit less if 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 the stream's a little shorter than usual. Um, but normally, I, you know, I do let you know, but it's normally 15 hours a week. I'm for 50, you know, I've done one full week half a week and now we're on the third week so that's really cool obviously like i've said before i don't i don't stream on weekends so the weekends i have to record youtube videos like yeah sometimes you know if i'm not fully if i don't fully have um, all the videos sorted for the upcoming week on the weekend then <clears throat> carlstead with a lovely save jeez then I will, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll delve into my week time, obviously. Uh, sometimes I'm a little tired um, after a Twitch stream. Interacting with chat for three odd hours. Um, <clears throat> but obviously, you know, when, when, when you just want to chill out after you've done uh, most things, you know. Um making youtube videos in the week you know it's, it's one of those things but you know you just gotta keep going so i can keep two videos a day coming out for you guys um so yeah that's that so that's half time two nil with uh one from leach smith very early on 10 minutes in and then we had ewan hill as well um with one uh, 17 minutes in, and here we go, Markham with the possession, straight off the bat, because we are away from home. Uh, Leak, I don't know why the defenders have just left him open there, but I will come forward. To Howard, then to Hill, Hill's got a bit of room, blasts one, uh, but a nice defensive block from the Rovers there. And that'll be out for our throw in, I do believe, yes. Nailed it. Well, finally, we've got the news. This intriguing deal. Ewan Hill, he's got some room. And he goes for another shot and skies it again. But he's getting into space to get the shot away. And, and I mean, no one else has been able to do that as of, you know, much this game. Alessandro finding Wildig. Finds Howard. Finds Leach Smith. He finds Howard, and unfortunately, he just gets tackled at the very last moment. Cranston managing to muscle himself to get that ball there. That's lovely. And uh, intercepted there by Davies. Then to Serkham. Then to Riley, but Sutton steps in there and says, uh, no, not today. As Leach Smith is open, he might have knocked it a bit too long, and he did. Unfortunate. Homer's Dennis coming out two. wide, but Ewan Hill with a nice little slide tackle there to uh, take away possession from Bristol Rovers momentarily. Clark. Well, they're getting the ball forward. They need to do that. 
Sutton to Hill. Cooper finds Alexandra. Plays it to Leach Smith. And I saw Howard open there, but not some nice defensive duties from the Rovers yet again. Riley's been let through here. Sutton goes for a slide tackle and gets some sort of contact to it. And it's a corner for the Bristol Rovers. They could uh, get something here. Corner swung in. Uh, but O'Sullivan with a header clears it almost to the halfway line and it looks like it, it's not quite a throw-in well, for the goes. Rovers. But Ogo, he's going to whip it in and well, some very good, like some Safety more first. very good defensive Goal duties from the Mark of Dons. <clears throat> but you can't pass to get the boys up front, which is unfortunate. So we continue. Little. Oh, go playing a ball over the top to Davies. Davies going to whip that in first time. Circum, Halstead managing to get one hand to it. That was a, a very good chance. He takes one touch to control the ball. And then whips the side of his body with it. Side of his foot, sorry. Um, and Halstead manages to somehow get a hand to that. That's unbelievable from the uh, veteran. Alessandra gets a foot to that, gets it to Cranston. And I see Alessandra here. He's got some help with Hill. And Hill's going to knock it long. And he gets slid out. And I think that's only going to be a yellow, I do believe. We'll have a look see though. It is only a yellow, which is unfortunate because that was he was thrown through on goal and he gets slid and he doesn't get the ball. So to me, that's a red card offence. Looks like Ewan Hill is the best player for this. So we'll whack it there. Play it low and Van Shapershoff. Manages to get something to it, but that was an on-target free kick from Ewan Hill and his first free kick for the Markham Dons. Bristol Rovers getting an injury there. Uh, looks like he's going to stay on for a little bit. Over the top. From Bristol Rovers. MK Dons have gone 2 1 up with four minutes remain. Millwall might be might get defeated here. As Halstead makes another lovely save and Buxton makes a clearance. Finds O'Sullivan. Saw the uh, Rovers man marking him. So I brought him back. I see Alessandra's run up top. I'm going to whip it across. Howard's going to get his foot to it. And that's three. And that's Howard bringing his mark onto the match. That was a very lovely play. And, and he manages. I didn't think he would have slid to hit it with the bottom of his foot. That's not something you see every day. So we play it out wide from Leach Smith to Alessandra. And he plays it into the box. And um, a, a sliding shot, you could say. On it. For Howard, and uh, he gets it in, and Van Stopperstoff was not ready. Right, so that's game. 90 they're minutes in. Morecambe Dons 3 0 up, right and that's another dub for the Dons. We're not messing about, Lee. I don't think we've taken a loss. I think last episode was a draw. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please do drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Or don't. I don't make the rules. Do what you want. And comment saying whiteboard pen if you made it to the end of the video all right guys take it easy bye bye